Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to earn more points in Rita. And I'm going to be showing you my looting route of this place. And this um um style of play can get you um depending on how aggressive you decide to play it, it can get you up to about 10 kills depending on how aggressive you want to play. It. But you can also go as low as two or three if you are playing it more passive. So let's go right into it right now. And um yeah. So um straight into it I'm going into Dusty Divot. Um it's not gonna be a Dusty Divot landing. I'm just gonna go here because you can make it anywhere on the map from here. So now a couple of things I want to go over that you could even create your own landing spot off of is you want to look for a place with good mats, rotation, and good loot. Now, um, the place I, I land is right at this airbase, right here, right next to Fatal. Now, the reason I choose this one is, be is because it has people at it, but not too many. So, normally what I like to do is if I see a gun around here, I will grab it, and then I go in here, boom, okay. Now I'm going to be showing you, and you can also get max brick and wood off this loot route. So I'm actually just going to be going through, doing the loot route, and grabbing all the loot. Now I like landing here because of the rotation, um, and um, you get tons of mats off of this. Now I'm gonna, I can drink these shields, and obviously you don't have the grappler in the game. So. Let's go into here. Okay, boom. Now, normally what I do is I go down to here. I'm actually not going to pick up that llama because I just want to get an all, all over overview of this. Note, you will not have the shopping cart there because this is playgrounds. Um, then I'll come over here. If someone already looted all this, I can normally kill them. Um... Now you can mine all this furniture, get tons of mats off of it. Okay, boom. So now we already have a hundred, a hundred. Now, the reason this, the reason this loot route is so good, is because you're gonna have so much loot to get. It is unbelievable. There is so much loot, and this is all obviously with all the chest spawns, but still. Your loot that you can get in this is unbelievable. It is like no other loot. Now, I will take these stink bombs over the clingers, because the clingers are not in the game. Now, this is actually a really good setup right now that I have. Um, so now, obviously, that the mountain has been looted, I normally... Um, I normally just come down here, get down the mountain with whatever I have, and I just go over to the fork knife, and um, I loot this. Now this is obviously where you're going to get your maximum brick. Um, you can easily get maximum brick, especially if you pick up a kill already, they are going to have a few mats for you, and this makes it, makes it so much easier. Now, boom, hit that. Okay, nothing good out of it. I'm actually gonna take the grenades since those are in and not, and impulses are not. And boom, obviously, in playgrounds, I already have max brick. But, it is okay. But, I just want you to know you will be able to get max brick out of this landing location. Um, so, okay, now we have an assault rifle. Now you have a decision to make. I'm, I'm gonna choose to take the grenades out because I don't really need them. I'd rather just have the stink bombs. Okay, now we have an upgrade for our AR and a big, huge upgrade for our shotgun. Now, this next decision really comes all down to preference. What I'm gonna choose is the AR to swap this out for. You can choose that, but this is normally kind of a loadout I like to rock. Um, by the way, this new gun is super good. It is basically, 
it, it, I'm not even going to go over it. You guys can test it out yourself. And now this, obviously, right here, is where you are going to be able to get your max wood easily. Completely easily. As you can see, these pallets give you a big load of mats. And there's even a chest spawn here, which just piles onto it. Now, normally, this would be the end of my looting route. But... I also like to go to Fatal sometimes if I have ring. So we're going to go over to Fatal and we obviously have a bunch of stuff and now I do get a lot of um I do get a lot of stuff and now as you can see if you did find a llama okay now something I want to go over gliders. Now this is normally what I'd swap utility item out for. I, my utility item, I always want to carry gliders. If you see gliders, you must carry them in arena. They are they are a, a must-have in arena. If you do not have them, it can be fine. But if you do come across them, please, guys, pick up the gliders. They are pretty much a must-have in arena. Now, in arena, it's different because you want the points, right? You want the points, but you also want some kills, and you don't want to become rusty, right? So that's why this loading looting route, I think, is really good. Now, if you are a more aggressive player, you'll just finish out that looting route. And unless Fatal was a first drop, you might come here to Fatal. Um, but if you don't, if, if it wasn't a first drop or it was like kind of a late drop, I would recommend going to Salty for if you want more kills. You can head straight up to Salty in the middle of the map straight away with your um sky base so now you guys kind of get the point of this looting route now in arena i want to tell you this this is proven working strat off of this i have gotten four solo wins in arena today just today and um yeah it, these were not these were um this is an okay landing spot for higher level players um, but, um, when I, w I'm basically around the 200 point range, that is when this spot becomes super effective, because when you're around that 200 point range, it is just, you're gonna have so much opportunity, um, so yeah, and then this is basically kind of a loadout, you kind of finish with, you get the point, the only thing I'd really take out for this um, for this revolver, I will take out, like, let's see if I can get it out of this chest, like an SMG. Okay, sure, like a Tommy gun. Um, yeah, so you kind of get the point. I have, I like to have a spray weapon. Um, an RPG, preferably. So a spray weapon, an RPG, and then, um, a combat shoddy or whatever shoddy you really prefer if you have a pump it is extremely important to have a spray weapon but if you do not it is fine um so yeah um so normally what i do from here is you have to rotate up to zone so you can choose one of two things you can either choose to um because normally the zone is like you need to make it up around this area and this area so it's not a far rotation um and this is also a reason i stopped landing lucky landing is because lucky becomes a super far rotation near like almost half the map of a rotation if it decides to go up and you have wild trek to get up to this that takes you as you can see is taking me all the way to the ring guys so this is going to take me all the way to the ring i'm just going to demonstrate how far this can go so i'm just going to keep going and going and going holy llamas we got three llamas right in front of us right now now you remember just come down here then if you gotta move again you're gonna move up and move to the next zone now you have pretty much a rotation that can take you all the way up to Dusty. You can go from Fatal to Dusty in a matter of literally just air bases. You can go from Fatal to Dusty in what, like 
30 seconds to a minute, you can make it, if 30 seconds it takes you, you can make it from fatal to dusty. Now, the amount of loot you can pick up along the way is crazy. Like, I've already found five slurps, guys. And you, as you can see, I have tons of mats, which is pretty obvious because I'm in playgrounds, right? But I also have a launch pad, a trap, turret, everything. So, now a couple more things I want to go over. I want to go over some of the, land, the other bases you can land at or other places that might be good. So, another base you can land at is right here. This base right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to loot it, take anyone out that lands there, go down to either Lazy Lagoon or Loot Lake. This is more for an aggressive player. But um, either Lazy Lagoon or Loot Lake, pick up the kills, and then you pretty much are almost at the center of the map, so you can kind of, then you'll, you should easily have a ring, pretty much. Or, worst case scenario, you have to rotate down to here, which is easy. And then another place for more players that want to play it more aggressive is either pleasant or salty. Because those always have, like, pleasant doesn't always have the ring. It can come down to here sometimes, worst case scenario. Um, but you can go to here if you want to play more aggressive or salty if you're playing really aggressive. But I just want to go over making, getting more points in arena. Um, so yeah. I think that's going to wrap up my video, guys. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And comment down below if you have any different um, loot routes and ways you can earn more points in Arena. And maybe you could tell them to me and I could do them in another video. See you later, guys.